We have riot police approaching from a different direction from the east here uh, towards the square, uh, well, that de facto square where the demonstrators have gathered by the tens of thousands. Uh, they're putting on gas masks right now, which to me signifies they're about to ramp up what they're doing here. And it's cle clearly creating warnings from some of the pedestrian protesters here that are on these overpasses. Uh, this is a large number of riot now being brought in, again, putting on their gas masks. It looks like they're pre preparing for some kind of movement uh, against the demonstrators. It's very fluid right now, Max. I'm seeing tear gas at the other side uh, towards the west of here in the crowd of tens of thousands uh, that has been targeted before. So there, there is clearly a standoff here, a test of wills between a predominantly youthful group of protesters some of which were, were too young to participate five years ago in the Occupy sit-in, and the city authorities uh, who are, I guess, trying to reopen the main arteries of this international financial hub. Max? Um, the numbers still look tiny, though, compared with the number of protesters, and those numbers are swelling from what we can tell. Um, but... Presumably, there's you know setups like this around the city, or is the or the bulk of the security force is just in that area, Ivan. Uh, it's hard to tell from our vantage point, but clearly, large parts of downtown Hong Kong, the, the central area, have been blocked off by this protest movement. So we're talking the main highways that run through the city. I'm standing on a traffic flyover. I mean, this is something that cars would be whizzing over normally on any day. I mean, that roadway there would be full of traffic, and it has brought the, the center of the city uh, to a complete halt. And it's very reminiscent. I mean, I, this is the Occupy City of 2014 2.0. It, it's, it's very reminiscent for me uh, of what, what I witnessed in these same streets. And so now we can see the riot police, uh, some of them moving forward yet again. We're going to spin around, and I don't know if our signal will hold up, but we'll show you the scene on the other side of this flyover. And, and our broadcast uh, is spotty right now, and we don't know if that's because of pressure on the, the, the wireless networks or the sheer numbers of people that are out there. So that's why we're at this location and not in the middle of it. Somebody just fired fireworks over there. But you can see the tear gas over there and demonstrators throw, 